What is up guys? Welcome back to another video on my channel. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button down below and leave a like on this video if you guys enjoyed today, if we help you at all. Today we're doing a tutorial video. I don't really do much of these on basic tricks because I like teaching you guys like tricks that are like weird and intricate and like gay. I'm just kidding. So we're gonna be teaching you guys how to do a finger whip today. And you guys might already know how to finger whip and you're just watching this because you're bored. I feel like there's a million finger whip tutorials out there and a bunch of different people screaming in your ear on how to do it, but I'm actually gonna give you guys insightful information, actual tips to doing finger whips and kind of like secrets and steps and requirements. So we're here right now, we're flat ground, we're on our way to the skate park, but I thought it'd be kind of artsy to film it right here, so yeah, without further ado, you guys probably want to learn it, so let's just get right into it. To do the finger whip, suggest learning it out of a flyout. That's probably the best way, wouldn't you agree? When you're first learning it, definitely a big flyout. If you, all you guys have is a big bank, do a bank, but I feel like flyout is probably the best way, so learn to air out. Learn. Don't do it air. I feel like finger whip airs are even hard, like as it is. They right are now. hard, I'm bad at them. I feel like before doing a finger whip, I'd say the trick to know how to do is probably a double whip. I'd say double whips, yeah. Finger whip, guys. You're gonna have to figure out which way you do it. So you hit it with your right hand if you're regular, so it does a tail whip, and if you're goofy, you're gonna hit it with your left hand. So it does tail. So goofy that way, regular that way. You guys can figure that out on your own because like, this hand we're not your mom. Next step, you pull it up, reach down, slap it, does a whip. Common problems with this trick, is people just like don't reach down exactly, or they reach I down mean. too much. So when you do the trick, make sure you guys pull it up to your hand and slap it like nice but, like that. I feel like the biggest problem is like people don't reach down and they go like this. They like, pull it all the way up to their arm so it's comfortable. I mean, this is possible, like they go like this, but like it's hard. The no, reaching right. down is how you're gonna get it good. I feel like good tip for a finger whip is to get your hand back on the bars as soon as possible. So after you hit the deck, people don't talk about this a lot, but after you slap it, try to get your hand back on the bars as fast as you can. Because this way, if you do this, you can get your hand back on and start doing quick and quick finger whip. How are you supposed to do quint finger whip if you're going like this? <laughs> like you have to get your hand you on as soon as possible. You have to put your hand right back on. As soon as you hit it, just go right back for it. So yeah, those are some pretty decent tips. Once you guys start doing it off drops, flat and like little banks. Yeah. Here is a good tip for that. This isn't really a tip for beginners. What I do to do it flat, this helps me so much is to look down at your wheel like this when you're doing it. Get over your handlebars. And when you're looking over your handlebars like this, for some reason, it just helps me so much. Just like look down like this. So when you're riding like this, it's like you don't have much torque when you're so far back, leaning back like this. You're not ready. Your body isn't already like, you know, reaching down for the finger whip. But since you're looking over your bars, it's like your body's already ready to do the finger whip. So when I do it, I go like, and then finger it. So yeah, finger whip's a really good trick to know how to do because you can add a bunch of different combos, like full whip finger whip, I mean whip finger whip, double finger whip. There's all sorts of different things you can do with finger whip. I feel like it's a pretty prime trick. It's super impressive too. So if you guys just start tuning and you're going to the skate park, you're gonna pop one off. Everyone's gonna be like, oh my God. Nobody's gonna be like that. It's kind of a basic trick. We'll open your doors up to a lot of other tricks. I feel like one thing that not a lot of people know about finger whips until they can do it, is that it's really hard to do while spinning. So like when you're doing three finger whips, 540 finger whips, that's a hard trick. So make sure you guys get finger whips hella good before you do it with a rotation because that's pretty hard. And I'm gonna do one flat for you guys real quick. Um, I'm probably not even gonna land it first try, but you know what guys? It's the thought that counts. Okay, yeah, Evan's not good so enough, bad, but I'll, I'll try, I'll try. Yeah, I haven't done a trick in a while, so. I'm so bad at finger whips. Yo, that was really good. My ankle's bad, but I mean, that's pretty much a favorite. I hope you guys learned a few tips of doing finger whips. I don't even know what to say. Hope you guys learned a thing or two about finger whips. Yeah, if you guys learned a finger up from me, uh, make sure you guys tell everybody. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, make sure you guys leave a like down below if you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe down below. More scooter content, because you know, I make the best scooter content in the world. Just kidding, jacked out. You're better than me. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Easy deasy. Pow.